Hey guys, what is going on? It's Matthew here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can make your very own Pac-Man rig. Okay, let's get started. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to use Autodesk Maya, but you can pretty much adopt this to any 3D animation software of your liking. All right, so let's get started with modeling. First is let's go ahead and create a sphere. A polysphere so under poly modeling go ahead and click the sphere icon so we have the sphere um, but it's pretty small right now so let's go ahead and scale it up a bit so yep and uh, yeah that's looking pretty good however it's kind of rough right now so we want to smoothen the sphere so let's go to channel box we already have that open here and under inputs click polysphere and by default, uh, the subdivs they're set to 20. So let's make them maybe something like 80. All right, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so next step is we actually need to cut our sphere into half. So let's go ahead and switch to side view. And now let's also switch to face mode. And let's highlight the other half of the sphere. And once you have that selection, go ahead and delete it. And yeah, let's switch back to object mode and let's go back to perspective view. So as you can see, we have a perfectly cut sphere right here. However, if you look at the bottom, there's a hole. So we need to cover that up. Um, you can do that in Maya by going to uh, mesh and then fill hole. If you don't see that option, make sure you're on the uh, modeling menu set because if you're on a different uh, menu set, you're not gonna see that. All right, let's just go back to modeling. And yeah, this will be Pac-Man's top mouth, right? So next is just duplicate it and rotate it. So this is pretty much the Pac-Man model itself. And if you start rotating the mouth, you can make him jump. However, when you start doing the animation, it's going to be tough for you because you need to rotate each mouth and that's going to take a lot of time. So we need to create a controller that will make our life you know, much more easier. But before we proceed with that, um, let's just tidy things up. First is let's just rename this one. Let's say Pac-Man top and this one Pac-Man bottom. And also, let's just uh, let's just uh, change the rotation again. And uh, I'd like to uh, freeze the transformation of the objects. So right now, they have values in there, and I'd like to set them to zero. So select both objects and go to modify, and then freeze transformations. And as you can see everything is at zero it's except the scale they're set to one and also at the bottom object um, it's the same thing zero so that's really good so now let's go ahead and group our objects i just press uh, Control g so now let's just name this uh, pac-man group okay so uh now it's time to create the controller so let's go to curves and our controller is going to be a nerve curves and in this particular case it's going to be a circle one so i uh, just clicked on it and let's just scale it up so you can see it all right so this is going to control the mouth and we just need to tell maya whenever we want to rotate the uh the y value it should also rotate the x value of both mouth so as you can see we're rotating uh, the top one and at the bottom one uh, it's affecting the rotation x so the way we do that is by creating an expression script let me just show you how to do that uh, let's go to windows and then animation editors and then expression editor oh before we proceed let's also rename our controller let's just say controller and then first is um, we will go to apply the script to each object that we want to be affected so let's start with the top one 
and we know that we want to affect the rotation X so select the object in case it's the top mouth uh, the top mouth and then click the rotate X under attributes and now we have a window here for expression so this is where we're gonna put our script so let's just copy this one right here and put it in our expression window so now we want to tell Maya that the rotation X is going to be equals our controller. So the name of our nerves curve is controller that rotate Y because that's the one that we're going to, you know, change the value and now multiply by one. Let me show you how it works. So let's go ahead and create. So now I just minimize this one. Now we are rotating the Y value F of our controller right you can see that here and it's set to negative 20 if you click on the top mouth it's also the same value so our, our script is working so we just need to do the same thing for the bottom one so again let's go ahead and pull up the expression editor uh, select the objects you want to be affected and as well as the attribute so that's the rotation X copy the value paste it in here and again, put the controller dot rotate y multiply by negative one. So this time it's going to be negative because it's going to go the other way. We don't want it to be on on the same rotation because it's not going to do anything. Uh, let me show you if, if we do that. So same script. So select the controller, you're rotating it, nothing's happening because they're moving at the same direction. So let's go ahead and change that real quick. Rotate X, make sure you set it to negative. Bam. So now by just rotating our controller, it's also making Pac-Man jump. However, we have a small problem. It can open his mouth really wide and also it's going to the other direction. So we don't want that to happen. We need to limit the rotation of our uh, controller so that it's also not gonna make Pac-Man uh, open his mouth really, really wide. So the way we do that is by going to attribute editor and controller, make sure you have the controller selected, go to the first tab and look for limit information and then expand the rotate. So now, we know that it's the Y rotation. So that's the one that we want to limit. First is let's set the minimum. So we don't want Pac-Man to go beyond zero. So that's the, the minimum and then the maximum. So this is the widest amount can go. So let's see what the uh, 45 will do. Yeah, so you can see that's the maximum um, that Pac-Man can open his mouth and yeah, we, you can set it to your liking. Um, this is now actually pretty looking good, but I guess let's try 60. All right. Yeah, I think that's much better. Let's go to side view. Yeah, that one's, that one's nice. Yeah, so this is actually a good looking rig. So next thing is I always like to make things clean and avoid accidents while animating. So I always like to just lock the other values that don't need to be moved. So like this one, if you accidentally move it, so that's gonna mess up the, the rig. If you accidentally also rotate in the wrong direction, that's gonna mess up the rig. So we don't want that to happen. So we need to lock those values to avoid um, issues in the future. So just select and then lock selected. So even if you try to move it, it's not going to do anything. It's also not going to rotate. Let's just do the same thing um, to the other one. So lock selected and same thing to the controller as well, because right now it's free to move up and down and it's not affecting uh, Pac-Man because it's only the Y rotation that's affecting him, right? So it's also a good idea to lock these values. Go ahead and lock selected. 
All right, so next thing is creating a move controller. So now we already have the mouth controller. Next is just for basic, you know, movement. So the same thing, a circle curve. Let's just scale it up a bit, uh, much bigger this time. And I'd like to keep it at the, right here, at the bottom one. Okay, so let's also name this one to, uh, yeah, let's name this Pac-Man. All right, and also like to freeze the transformation of our, you know, move controller. And then next is let's put the Pac-Man group to our main controller, and also the this one to to the main controller. All right, so this next step is also pretty important because this will help us when we start um, doing this squash and stretch animation and also jumping and stuff like that. And it is actually adjusting the pivot point. Let me show you. Uh, let's go to the side view. And if your pivot point is set to the center, if you start doing the squash and stretch, it's gonna do some weird things. And it's gonna be tough for you, honestly. So set it at the very bottom. And the way you do that is just hold down letter D on your keyboard and then move the pivot point. Like to have it at the very bottom. All right. So now when you start doing the squash and stretch animation, you can just scale it down. You can scale it up to stretch it. And you know, when you're doing the jumping motion and stuff like that, you can do that easily. With this, you can bring much more life to your character. All right, so that's the, the pivot point. This is pretty much the, the controller. You can do basic movement. You can make it jump. Uh, we'll discuss that more on the animation tutorial, but for now, it's looking pretty good. And yeah, but right now, Pac-Man is looking pretty, <laughs> looking pretty dead right now. So let's add some color to him. Let's just select both objects, right click and assign a new material. Let's go to Arnold in standard surface. Well, if you're using a different render engine, you can use uh, you know a different material. It's really up to you. But on this lesson, let's just use Arnold, and yeah, let's just name this uh, Pac-Man skin, and I like to use the preset rubber replace and yeah let's change the color to yellow mm, yeah i think that's looking pretty nice okay all right so this is our finished rig and you can pretty much start from here you can add some eyes you can make him a monster pac-man or ms pac-man it's really up to you. What's important is you're able to make a simple rig that controls the mount in which you can keyframe if you want to make him jump. And also we have a basic controller for squash and stretch, which is good because these things are really important, especially when you start to animate your rig. All right, I guess this is the end of our video. If you want to see more tutorials like this, maybe an animation tutorial, texturing, lighting, rendering, stuff like that, just let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And again, thanks for watching. This is Matt and see you on the next one.